Hello, hello today I'm going to show you how to make a clear factory reset of your Samsung Galaxy S22 device here. And of course, it's the same way to reset your Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and, um, and the Ultra version too. The first step is we have to go to setup. We, how we can perform this? Swipe from the upside down and we can see this icon over there. Here we can push and we go to settings. The other way to go to settings or one other way is swipe up and here we can see settings. Now we are in the settings option. In the settings option, we have a lot of setting things to do. If you have an FRP function, a factory razor protection, this is by the Google, by your Google account. The first step is if you're going to give away your smartphone or you sell your smartphone, you should disable the FRP, FRP function first before you worry that your, your device, because this is the safest way to remove your, your entire account from this device. If you are performing now these steps only for troubleshooting, this is not necessary. So, okay, let's go. We go down until we can see accounts and backup here. Then manage accounts. Here you can see on this phone right now is a Google account and a Samsung account. The FRP function, the factory reason protection is by Google account. So we go to our Google account and here we can now remove the account. Removing the account will be delete all of its messages, contacts, and other data from the device. Of course, yes, remove the account. Are you sure device protection features will no longer work? There it is, okay? This is the protection thing that if another person will make a factory reset of this device, um, that there is no possibility to make a clear setup after this, yes. We have to enter the pin of our phone. Here we are, continue. And our account is away. The FRP function is now disabled. So we go back, back, and we are back in settings. Here we go now to general management. General management, baby. If we see here, reset function. Now we have one, two, three, four options. Reset all settings. This will reset all the settings on our phone, except, okay, without security settings, without language settings, without accounts, personal data, and settings for the downloaded apps. This is if you have travel or uh, you like to reset the settings only. Reset network settings. This will reset all network settings, including Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. If you have a trouble with your Wi-Fi network thing, make this first before you reset, uh, in fact, reset. And of course, here is a possibility to reset the accessibility settings. Our accessibility settings will be reset to their default settings. Related settings such as keyboard and font size won't be reset. And now, our thing is the factory data reset. We rated our phone to its factory default settings. This will erase all data, including files and downloaded apps. Okay. And here you can see what's going on next. This erased our phone, including the Google account, system and app data, settings, download apps, music, pictures, all other use data, service providers, private key, storage, and Samsung blockchain keystone. And our current signed in the following ex um, accounts is there too. They will be um, removed from this phone. Okay. If you have a backup in the cloud, you can restore your new phone with that backup, of course. And um, here you can see what's going on here. All apps will be removed. For example, if you have an Outlook account, Microsoft um, account, of course, your Microsoft account will not be removed. It will be only removed from that phone here. So your mails are still on the cloud, okay? Or Google Drive, all the data on Google Drive, which are saved there, will be will be there after a resetting or factory reset of this phone, okay? So now reset. And well, we have to enter the current pin. This is the pin of our smartphone. 
And now it's time. All our personal information and downloaded apps will be erased and can be recovered. Delete all, baby. Of course, now we have to enter and confirm us anymore. That means we have to enter our Samsung account passport and then we can continue with that process. If we does not have the FRP function disabled before, um, often we have to enter our Android, our Google account um, password too in that step here. If you does not have a Samsung account, you will not enter it now. Press OK. Here we go. And now you can see the device is starting to make a clear factory reset of that device here. It costs us now, I think, two minutes and we are back in business. It's a good troubleshooting process because now all data are erased because sometimes apps and data on your phone interrupted a little bit. And then with that feature here to make a clear factory reset, um, it's a good troubleshooting. Or of course, if you sell your phone, you have to do this. Included the function of deactivating the FRP function. Because the next owner of this smartphone here likes a factory reset device that he can make clear setup again, of course. So this costs us not a lot of time and your files are deleted. But take care before you will perform this here. You have to make a backup if you like. And then on the new phone, which you are going to buy, um, you can um, yeah, make the backup, bring back there. And you can see after well, it was only one minute, one and a half minute, we are back in business. And this is the start screen of a new life for this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.